Patrick! Patrick! Hey, Sock! Hey, Sock, I need a couple of, uh, yeah, at least three or four. Patrick! Patrick! itself goes it's just get shit faced and party music booze fuel party rock and it's rock and roll you know with lots of swear words and drinking lots of beer and having fun i went you know it's probably just like a random drinking night but it was definitely uh one of those bands you hear the name it's like you have to see this uh, how do you guys come up with your songs Drugs and alcohol. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of times, like uh, someone will say a dirty word or a dirty phrase or something. We actually do this all the time. Like, oh, song title. Yep. You know, and then we kind of keep it in the back of our heads, and then you know, next practice, someone will come up. Oh, I wrote this riff. Oh, let's put it with that dirty, butt fucking, you know, whatever phrase we came up with last week, and there's a new song. So. Well, it's come is pretty blue collar and gritty, like. You know, people just don't give a shit, really. Yeah, that was kind of cool. Like, the last show we played, that was the first time I'd seen porn for sale at a band's merch booth. Oh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Uh, the drunker you are, the better we sound. The drunker you are, the better we are. The drunker we are, the better we sound. I'm filling out with socks, many of them, well, several times. Uh, can't remember too many times of those times. Uh, those guys like to party, man. <laughs> What are some of the bands you guys have played with? I haven't played with any other band. <laughs> For shows. Oh. Some of the other bands. <laughs> we played with every, you know, lots of good bands, lots of shitty bands, and uh, played with a few big bands. Uh, it was, uh, it's definitely a show, man. They uh, kind of remind me like of the Murder Junkies with, uh, Know, a little content of El Duce, mentors, you know, I've seen them with the mentors, like, anytime the mentors that come close to town or whatever, even to come, I'd have to see them, and, uh, I just remember Sock, like, I remember, like, he goes, but I have to puke at every show, <laughs> So, we'll play your backyard, we'll play, what we, uh, Uncle Sam's, we played there. Uncle Sam's, that's right, Uncle um, Sam's been there a couple times. Yeah, Sam, we'll play your backyard, we'll play, the Dome, who cares? Yeah. You do a lot of house parties, things like that. Yeah, that, those are the most fun shows, I think, you know, because people are uninhibited at house parties, you know, there's no rules, like you can't drink on stage, you know, you can't smoke in the house, stuff like that, so, and usually, <sighs> we've had problems in the past with having all ages shows, because venues don't like our, you know, dirty words and whatnot, so at house parties, you know, kids can come out, and, you know, who want to see us and, you know, they, they jump around, move around. That's awesome to watch. So. This is talking about wearing condoms. You should really do it because uh, there's all kinds of diseases out there. Do you guys hope to become commercially successful or expect to become commercially successful? No. How? <laughs> Expect? No. Ex yeah, expect? No, it would be nice, but I don't see it happening. Hope? I, w I wouldn't really say hope is the right word. I would say if it does happen, um, shocked would be an appropriate term. <laughs> about as close as we and no we've never actually hit anybody in the face with a brick um, but uh, it doesn't mean they haven't wanted to I almost got to sit on our drummer's titties these got big ears. when did that happen? we were working telemarketing and he was really broke at the time so I think I talked him down from $200 to about $40 to show his chest then I said ew you're gonna let me show your chest for 40 bucks man you're gonna load it to me or something <laughs> Every hand clap is Warren's Eve on Lennon one more time. <laughs>
Every day you're gonna die. Why will you die? Will you die? 